Before we exit Fluent, let's look at some of our results. If we look at our residuals, we'll see that it converged below 1 e to the negative 6 very quickly. If we go to our heat flux, we'll see that at the same point the heat flux was not yet converged, which is why we needed to add that additional convergence criterion. But we see that by the end of the iterations it is very flat. It's not changing with iterations, which is what we want. So we can go ahead and close out of Fluent, click OK, and then double click results to open up CFD post. Let's start by making a plane to view the temperature contours on. Go to location, plane, and we'll just leave the default name. XY plane is fine and click apply. We'll view it from the z-direction and then go contours and we'll call this temperature contours. We'll change the location to plane 1 and the variable to temperature. Click apply. We can get smoother contours by increasing the number of contours down here say 101, and then click Apply. Next, let's look at the temperature along a line. So go to Location, Line, and we'll leave the default name again, click OK, and increase the number of samples to 100, and click Apply. Go to Charts, and we'll call this Temperature Variation, Go to Data Series, we'll call this Fluent, and the location will be Line 1. On the x-axis, we want x, and on the y-axis, we want the temperature. Go ahead and hit Apply. You'll notice that temperature is in Kelvin, whereas we wanted it in Celsius, so we'll go to Variables, Temperature, double-click, and then change it to degrees Celsius. Click Apply. If we go back to Outline, and you'll have to change back to Chart Viewer, if we want to look at the analytical solution, we can go to Data Series and add a data series. We'll call this Analytical, and instead of a location, we need a file location. Mine is under Downloads, and then choose Open, then click Apply, and you'll see that we have pretty good match with our analytical. You will notice, if you refine the mesh, that this area in particular uh, will begin to match the analytical even better. If we want to if we want to make our image more easily readable, we can go to, to the chart display and change the title to 20, the axes titles to 18, the axes themselves to 14, and the legend also to 20. And then click apply.